Okay, so now we're working on chapter 8.3, the area of circles. So we're going to look at exponents and powers, which is something totally new. Then take it from there, area of circle, formulas, and calculations. Okay, so exponents. This is a very important part of knowing the area of a circle. So let's get to it. Now, when you have an exponent, this is what it would look like. You have, for example, this 2 to the fourth, okay? And the fourth is that little tiny number that goes up in the air. So your exponent, that's what it's called, the exponent, okay? What that means is you're gonna multiply two four times. One, two, three, four. So that actually gives you 16 because when you look at it, two times two, that's four. Multiply by 2 again, that's 8. Multiply that by 2, that's 16. How many times did we multiply by 2? 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 2 to the 4th. Okay? So this little 2 here, that's the number that repeats. So here are some different words that we use. We have 5 to that two, that's five squared. We have four to the three. When it's to the three, it's cubed. So think squared. You've already worked with squared numbers. If there's a two as the exponent, cubed would have the three, okay? So then that five squared would actually just be five multiplied, oops, multiplied twice, go back. So five times five, what does that give you? 25. Four multiplied three times. Four times four times four. So you think, well, four times four, that's 16. So those two gives you 16. And then 16 times four, why? That gives you 64. All right. Okay, so there is a video on exponents that we're gonna watch here. Okay, so now that we've had this examples of exponents, a little introduction, we look at these examples. So you have five squared. That actually becomes, whoops, five multiplied by five, which is five times five, 25. So five squared is actually 25. Then you have nine cubed. Nine times nine times nine. Okay, so you think, okay, nine times nine is 81. Then 81 times nine, well, you can do your scratch work for that. So you know this is 81. And then you're multiplying by nine again. So what does that give you? That gives you 729 is nine cubed. Okay. And then you have four to the power of five. So same times the thing. Four times four times four times four. And that will give you your answer. You just multiply it. And if you have to do it each time, you're like, okay, four times four, that's 16. And then you can carry on and carry on. That's what you need to do. 10 to the power of one, well, that's 10. Anything to the power of one is just that number. Anything to the power of one is the base value, okay? And then 8.1 squared Okay, so that gives you all those examples. All right, so you can pause here to see before to figure out this one here and this one here.
Okay, so you're four times four. Times four, times four, four to the power oops, of five. Missing one. Okay, so we have four times four, that's 16. That's only two. So you can even speed it up. You could even say, I'm gonna group this and I know this is gonna be 16. So that actually becomes 16 times 16 times four. Because you know this is gonna have two of them here, two fours here, and then that's your fifth four. So when you do your scratch work, Using your calculator, 16 times 16 is 256. Multiply by four gives you 1,024. Okay, that's your final answer. And then 8.1 squared. So it's not 8.1 times two, it's 8.1 times 8.1. That gives you 65 and 61 hundredths. Okay. Now let's look at the area of a circle. So area, it's the space inside the circle. Right here, this 13 meters that's our radius. Because it starts at the center and it goes to one of the edges. Now, when we're looking at the area of a circle, this is the formula. A equals pi r squared. Pi r squared. So not d squared, but r squared. So what if you're given the diameter? What if you're given the diameter? Then that just means you divide the diameter by two to get your radius. Okay. All right. So as per usual, you write down the formula you fill in the values and you calculate. And remember it's area, so it needs to be squared. Squared, squared, squared. Okay, it needs to be squared. So another way of looking at that formula is A equals pi, 3.14, times R, times R. Okay, it's not the same as 3.414 times radius times two. This is wrong. No, that's not how you do it. This is what it actually means. Okay, let's look at a couple examples. So these are radius. Now, A equals pi r squared. So 3.14 multiplied by 10 times 10. Okay, not 10 times 2, 10 times 10 because the radius is 10. Okay, so you have 3.14 times 10, that gives you 31.4 times another 10, so you can do it incrementally, 31.4 times another 10 is 314 centimeters squared, because it's area we're looking for. Okay, do the next one. Again, this is the radius. Radius is five centimeters. So A equals pi r squared. Next, 3.14 times five times five. Okay, or even 3.14 five squared whichever one. Now, 3.14 multiplied by 25 because it's actually five times five, correct? That gives us 78.5 centimeters squared. 
its area, not circumference, squared. Okay, let's look at the next one. Okay, so now looking at this, this is actually the diameter. And if you remember, diameter is actually two times the radius. So I'd have to divide this by two to get this side. What's that? So D over two equals R. Diameter divided by two equals the radius, which is six divided by two equals three. It's three centimeters. Okay, let's figure out the area then. Pi R squared. 3.14 multiplied by three squared which is actually 3.14, if you were still a bit confused, three times three. I just want you to see how it's done in each step. You can skip steps if you need to, but I wanna see most of the work. And centimeters squared. Because again, it is area, not circumference, not the distance around. It's the area inside. Okay. Now your homework. Pages 92 to 93. Questions 2 to 9. Calculate, don't estimate. All right. Mathletics, you can work on area of circles. One. Okay, after that, we're going to just move on to the next unit, equations, expressions, and al algebra, and we'll see how far we will get. Okay, remember, ask any questions if you are having difficulties.